Hi everybody, it's uh, Jared here again, same, uh, same basic location as last Saturday, um, here at the Ministry Center, and we're talking to Jason Tripp, he's a pastor up in uh, Val Karen, Sudbury, kind of, is that? Blizzard Valley. Blizzard Valley. Um, and uh, he was here, he was part of the uh, Culture and Missional Church course. So Jason, you've been here for three days, stuck in the Free Methodist Church in Canada dungeon. <laughs> Uh, what was the course about, and uh, and should we keep doing it? Yeah, I just finished three days. It was a long three days, but it was very helpful for me, and I believe everybody else involved. Basically, uh, the whole overview of the course, I'm going to use a Sesame Street illustration, okay. if I may. The old, I'll do my best Grover impersonation. You know, okay. we got the whole near and far. Yep. So when we talk about mission and culture, uh, two things I've really been uh, learning this past three days is that sometimes we can be so near and close yeah. looking at how we do our church and how we do our programs yep. that we can miss the larger story of what God's doing in okay. the world. And that's something that was really impressed upon us is just understanding that the church doesn't primarily has a mi have a mission, but the mission of God should have us. Okay. And so we need to step back. We need to yeah. be far away yeah. to get a clear understanding of God's mission of redemption and reconciliation in the world. And then from that, we need to then engage our neighborhood and get a little more near okay. to our neighbors. Once we have an understanding of God's mission of reconciliation yeah. in the world, sometimes we can still be too far apart from our culture. And then we start making assumptions. Like okay. I, I feel like I'm guilty of making assumptions about thinking, I know about my neighbors, I know about my context and culture. When really, until I engage with my neighborhood and really get to know them on a deep level, sure. understanding who they are and the needs that I and we as a church can bring to them. Okay. So we need to step back from what we're doing internally get a picture yep. of God's activity and then get a little closer okay. to our neighborhood. All right, and so it's a three-day course. You think we should continue to do it? Absolutely, absolutely. There's a lot I'm certainly going to be processing. It's it's a lot that I can bring back, I think, to my neighborhood and my leadership team. So I think it's something that would be healthy for all ministerial candidates like me and even more seasoned ministers to kind of rethink how we do church. Great, great. All right. Adrian, you are uh, you were here too? Yeah, it was awesome. Okay, great. You and where are you from? St. Joseph Island. Okay, great. Yeah, no, it was and, really good. And uh, so you guys flying back? Hey, Mike Gidney can't get off camera. How did it go? You need a wider lens for Mike. <laughs> you need a wider lens. How did it go? It came, it went. We okay. conquered. All right, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Well, that's the Constantinian model. We're trying to abandon. Oh, we don't right. want to conquer. We don't want to conquer. <laughs> okay, we just okay. divide. Okay, no. all right, all right. Well, thanks, guys, for uh, checking in with us. And uh, we'll uh, talk Jared, to you Jared, you're all. awesome, just oh. for the record. Yeah, you're awesome. make sure we get that on there. Yeah. <laughs>